ago, I went to see a man in a hospital. He told me that before he was admitted in that hospital for treatment, a nurse came and talked to him and made him comfortable, asked the man few routine questions. She had to fill out one of those hospital forms. One question she asked him was, what is your religious preference? The man looked at the nurse and said, I'm so glad you asked me that. I have always wanted to be a Catholic, but nobody ever asked me before. You are the first one. This true story raises a question. If we believe that Jesus is the greatest treasure the heart can possess, why don't we share our faith in Jesus with others? This brings us to today's scripture readings. The first reading presents Eli sharing his faith with a young boy, Samuel. The second reading presents St. Paul sharing his faith with the Corinthians. And the Gospel reading presents John sharing his faith with two disciples and Andrew sharing his faith with his brother Peter. Let us focus on the Gospel reading and on Andrew especially. John mentions Andrew three times in his Gospel. Each time Andrew is bringing someone to Jesus. Each time Andrew is sharing his faith. In today's reading, Andrew brings his brother Peter to Jesus. Eventually, Jesus picks Peter to be the rock on which he builds his church. Later on, Andrew brings a boy with the five loaves and two fish to Jesus. Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 8. And Jesus uses the loaves and fish to feed a great crowd of hungry people. Finally, Andrew brings some Greek people to Jesus. And Jesus uses the occasion to teach the people some important things. This brings us back to our original questions. If we really believe Jesus is the greatest treasure we can possess, why are we reluctant to share our treasure with other people? Any person who thinks it isn't important to share his or her faith with others should remember today's readings. Do we talk to others about Jesus, about Christ? I don't mean that we have to stand on the corner of the street shouting to others, but do we talk to others about Christ? Do we share the joy of our faith? Do we, by word and example, action, demonstrate our listening to Christ? It is easy to talk about Christ to like-minded people in our church buildings. But how do we engage the outside the world, those who have not heard the gospel, or those who need to hear its life-affirming message? One day I was traveling by a train back in India. This is a true story. I don't make up stories. I tell the true stories. And the man who was sitting by me was a Hindu. You know, India has a lot of religions. Hinduism, Christianity, Islamism, Buddhism, Jainism, Zoroastrianism, so many isms. So you meet so many religious people. And this man was a Hindu. I could see because he had a 
yeah, an ash on his head, I could recognize him. But you know, we don't really talk. When we see a first time, we don't talk that much. But maybe after a couple of hours, he started to see something in me, and he asked me, are you a priest? I said, yes, I am. What kind of priest are you, he asked me. I said, I'm a Catholic priest. So he slowly started to converse, and we were talking, and he started to ask so many questions about uh, Christianity. So I was explained to him. At the end, he told me, you know, Father, I never knew that your God became a man to live like us. In our religion, we don't have that God comes to, to human level. I'm really, I'm so much taken up the way that you explained to me how God became man. That touched me so much. And he also asked me one question. Why they call you reverend? <laughs> I did not have the answer at that time. <laughs> so he was going on asking. At, at the end he said, how good for you to see your God coming to this human, taking the human flesh and being one of us. Our God is not like that. Thank God that you have your God. I'm really so much attracted toward your religion. But I don't know whether he became a Catholic or not. But at least he expressed that he was so much liked our religion. Had Andrew not shared his faith with his brother Peter, Peter might have never become the rock upon which Jesus built his church. And had Andrew not shared his faith with the boy with the loaves and fish, the crowd on the hillside might have gone home hungry and the gospel may have gone without one of the most inspiring stories of all scripture. Had Ignatius of Loyola not shared his faith with Saint Francis Xavier, who is the patron of the mission countries, most of the Asians would not have come to know Jesus. We have the duty, obligation, and responsibility to share our faith with our own children, with our own friends, and with those people we know are searching for something to believe in. Let us close with your prayer. Lord, teach each one of us that here on earth you have no hands but ours to reach out to the needy. You have no heart but ours to embrace the lonely. You have no voice but ours to share the message of why you lived, suffered, and died for us. Lord, teach us that here on earth, we are your hands, we are your voice, we are your heart. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.